Hello. In this session, we will look at an introduction to AMIs. Now, AMIs, it stands for Amazon Machine Image and AMIs are simply your operating system. So at any point, whenever we want to launch any virtual machine or if you want to launch any EC2 instance, we will need to specify the operating system that we want to use to launch that EC2 instance and that is where we can make use of this AMI to specify what operating system we want for that particular um, virtual machine that we are going to launch using the EC2 instance. Now in the last session we discussed about the different different pricing models that we have for your EC2. So we have options like on-demand instances, reserved instances, spot instances, capacity reservations, dedicated instances and a few more options. Now all these pricing models uh, can be used to save up some cost depending on your use case depending on the requirement. Now in this particular session we will look at an introduction about your AMI. We will talk a bit more uh, about your AMI. Once again before we start off with the session please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So like I said your AMI it stands for Amazon Machine Image and this is nothing but your operating system. Now this AMI it is supported and maintained uh, by AWS. So these AMIs these are provided by uh, AWS and this will basically contain all the required information for launching your EC2 instance. So all the information about your operating system, any pre-installed applications, all that information will be available within the AMI and we can use this to launch our EC2 instances. So whenever we want to launch our EC2 instance, we will need to specify the AMI. So the AMIs are mandatory. Without an AMI, we cannot launch an EC2 instance. So it is simple, right? Without an operating system, we cannot have any machine. So the same way, when we talk about your EC2 instances, we need to specify the operating system, which is basically selecting the AMI. So AMIs are mandatory and we can use these AMIs to launch any number of instances you want. So using one single AMI, we can launch multiple instances with the same configuration. Let's say, for example, you want to have uh, uh, multiple Ubuntu machines. So we can use the same Ubuntu AMI and we can launch multiple EC2 instances out of that. So you can also use different different AMIs to launch the instances uh, if you want different different configurations. So like let's say if you want a Windows EC2 instance, you can go with the Windows AMI. Likewise, if you want to have an Ubuntu EC2 instance, you can go with the Ubuntu AMI. Likewise, if you want to have a Red Hat instance or a CentOS instance, we can use the respective AMIs to launch the instances that we want. So we can use the same AMIs, we can use different AMIs, whatever your use case is. Now, you can search for the AMI that meets the criteria for your instance. So by default, when you go to the EC2 console and when you're launching your EC2 instance, so let's say here I'll go and uh, uh, click on launch instances. By default, this will show me some of the AMIs that are available for me to use. So we have Amazon Linux, Mac OS, Ubuntu, Windows, Red Hat, SUSE, Debian. Likewise, we have some of the default ones. You can also browse through these AMIs to select the AMI that you want. Now, very important point to remember is not all of these AMIs are free to use. All right. So you have to make sure that your AMIs says these free tier eligible. Only these AMIs are free to use. Any AMI that does not have that, you'll have to pay money for that. All right. So please pay, be careful with that. So here you should be able to see the quick start AMIs, um, some of the default AMIs that we can use. You also have the My AMI. So these are the AMIs that are created by uh, you. Uh, as of now, we have not created any AMI in the upcoming sessions. I will be showing that to you. You also have this marketplace, which is like a store. So here you have different different vendors who sell the AMI. So like we have the Splunk Enterprise, we have OpenVPN, we have Red Hat OpenVPN. So these are all basically the AMIs provided by other vendors and these are chargeable. And you have the community AMIs, which are basically the AMIs provided by other developers. All right. So this is basically open to all. Anyone can uh, use them. So this is one way where you can search. So let's say if you're looking for the Red Hat AMI, you can search for uh, the AMIs that supports your Red Hat. So you can see here, all these are your Red Hat AMIs. Okay, so you can search the AMI that you want based on your criteria. And you can search for the AMIs provided by AWS or the AMIs provided by community. So you can see this is AWS provided, this is Red Hat. So 
I mean, this is all the AMIs created by the community, the AWS community. You can also create your own AMIs with any customization that you want. So you also have the option of creating your own custom AMIs. So again, in the upcoming sessions, I will be showing that to you. Now, this is one way. The other way is if you uh, go back to the dashboard here, you can see these AMIs. And uh, this is another way where you can see the AMIs. So here you will see owned by me, basically the AMIs that I have created. Private images, basically the images that are uh, restricted. It is only shared with uh, some of the people. And then public images are the AMIs that are open to all. Anyone can use them. So as of this recording, we have 76,050 AMIs that are free to use. Uh, so you can, based on the requirement, like for example, let's say, uh, if you're looking for the platform uh, is equal to, let's say, Mac OS. All right. So I can filter this. So I have 139 AMIs that supports the Mac OS operating system. Uh, likewise, let's say if I'm looking for an AMI that supports your, let's say, Red Hat. So I have 1,123 AMIs that supports your Red Hat AMI. So I can filter the AMIs. I can search the AMIs as well. All right. Now, an AMI, generally when we talk about your AMI, it includes the following. So it includes one or more Amazon Elastic Block Store snapshots or the instance store bagged AMIs, a template for the root volume of the instance. So this basically contains a root volume. It contains the snapshot that the AMI needs to use to launch the EC2 instance. It also contains the launch permissions. So launch permissions will be who is uh, allowed to use the AMIs to launch the instance. So you can... Like you can create a private AMIs and you can share that with only a set of people. You can give access to those people and only they can use those AMI. That permission is also included within the AMI. And then you have the block device mapping that specifies the volumes to attach to that instance when it is launched. So the default volumes, the root volumes that you want to attach to that instance, that information is also included within the AMI. So that's basically what your AMI is. So once again, AMI is nothing but it's simply your operating system. In addition to that, it also contains some additional details as to which snapshots to use, which volumes to attach, but it's simply an operating system. So what operating system you want for the EC2 instance that you're launching. So that's your introduction to your AMI. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.